Last year, I found out an easier way to activate your weather radios. So how do you do that? You have a 3.5 millimeter to RCA. So then you put, well, wait, where are the RCA jacks? You do not need those, okay? You do not need those. So what you're gonna do is you are going to strip those RCA jacks off. And then you'll have these wires like this. These well, these these wires broke already, but yeah, that's all you'll that's all you'll have to do. So make sure you make sure you have an iPod, uh, iPod Touch or whatever you have. But I recommend an iPod or maybe an iPad because that works too. And make sure it's fully charged. I need a new battery for this thing. And you got a BR three fifty there. And. Now you're going to put your weather radio onto channel 2. You're going to change the channel to channel 2 or 162.425 megahertz. And then unplug your iPod. If you do not unplug your iPod, it will not work because for some reason charging your iPod and whatever, it creates a lost static. So, now you have the iPod and this, just throw it on there. You're, you're just going to throw it on there. You're just going to throw it like that. Now turn on your radio. Now we're going to go to, now we're going to play some valid tones, okay? I actually uh, uploaded some valid tones straight from my Sage over there to my iPod. So now, with these on, we're going to we're going to press play. Notice how it's not connected anywhere, and it's still receiving the tones from my, from the iPod. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm pretty sure why the radio wasn't activating because I was using a spare WR400 adapter, which outputs nine, or actually outputs six volts. And I got a new adapter that outputs six volts. Oh, it died. Okay, let's try this now. Unplug. Um, play. Okay, so instead of using the WR120, we're going to use the Greekcom PSR800. Yes, this does work with the PSR800. that one more time just to show you it wasn't a fluke and yeah as I pull a lock picking loyal right there Serials warning. High wind warning. And high wind watch. Alright. So that is a quick and easy way how to activate your weather radio or your radio or scanner without having to plug everything in the ports or whatever, like the headphone jack and stuff like that. No, 
I actually discovered it last year. And I actually I actually kind of thought it was illegal because I mean you are you are kind of transmitting these RF emissions on no weather radio. But they're so weak I highly doubt that they're going to cause any harm to anyone or anything like that. So and I'm pretty sure and, and I'm pretty sure even if you did have even if you were using the RCA connection to weather radios and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure the same thing is happening. Just weaker or something like that. So yeah, I just want to show you guys this to you.